Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Today we are back in Affinity and we are going to be doing... Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Today we are back in Affinity and we are going to be doing some outlines. Um, just real quick, Affinity is free now. It's offered by Canva. Um, it's, so if you have a Canva account, you can get Affinity for free. I will link another video tutorial that shows you how to get it all downloaded and set up. But for today's tutorial, we're just going to work on how to make these outlines or offsets. We've got a couple different ways we're going to do it. This one is just this big, chunky outline that is um, used for two words. and then I have filled it up with a pattern. And then this one, we've got a couple different outlines. Um, we've got the purple one, the pink one, and then I also wanted to show you, I had a request for how to get this kind of a script font with each letter being a different color or pattern depending on what you wanna do. So that's what we're gonna work on today. I'm going to create a new artboard so I'm going to come here to my artboard tool and I'm just going to click insert artboard and it will give me a new artboard that is exactly the same size as my first one. Again, if you want to see how to get all of this set up, I will link another video tutorial that shows you how to get it all set up so you can have your page looking just like mine. Okay, well let's just start with um, the heartbreaker. So I'm going to come over here to my text tool and we want to be on this one. This is the artistic text tool. Just click here and I'm going to type in the word heart. This is the quarantine and chill font. Um, you can come in here and pick any font your little heart desires. You do have to install your own fonts. Um, all you have to do is install them on your computer and then they will show up in Affinity. Okay. So we've got heart, let's get our next word. So I still have my text tool open, I know I do because it's got that A on my cursor. I'm just going to click again to get another uh, cursor here and I'm gonna type breaker. Now that happened because I was scrolling through the fonts showing you all the different fonts and I accidentally selected one. But we don't want it to be this font. So I'm gonna double click in here to highlight everything and we're gonna come and make it the Halmera font. Let's go find that. There that is, perfect. That was a little too big. Now, what I did on mine was I didn't like how stretched out it was. And you'll notice if I just grab this and try to drag down, that doesn't work. But if I hold shift and drag down, then I can skew my text to be how I want it. And that is exactly what I want. Heart breaker. Okay. Before we move on, we want to get the outline. And we're going to do that separately. I'm going to make duplicates of this. So I've got this one selected. I'm going to hold shift and select heart. And then to duplicate these, while they're both selected, I'm just going to hold the alt key and drag down. Okay. And now you can decide how thick you want this outline to be. I'm going to start with heart. I'm going to come over here to my offset or my contour tool. And once you click it, you're going to get some menus up here. If you've got rounded letters, keep this rounded one. If you have a very square font like a Varsity, you might want to come over here to this miter or the bevel. I'm going to keep it rounded. And I'm going to put it at like 60. And I'm going to hit enter and just see what happens. I think that'll probably be pretty good. Let me do the same thing for here. So I've selected breaker. I am still in my contour tool and I'm just going to hit 60 for that as well 
that's probably not going to work. Uh, it might work once we put them together. We want to get all these holes filled up. So I think I'm going to start here for now. Um, I guess something I did forget to mention that is showing up right now and it probably won't be on yours. I have the stroke turned on for all of these. I'm going to come and turn it off so that you can see what you're probably going to be seeing on your screen. So to do that, I'm just going to select both of these words. I'm going to come to stroke and click the X to turn it off. Okay. I'm going to do that here as well. I'm going to select all of this and just turn that stroke off. Okay. That's probably more what you're seeing on your screen. We are going to put that stroke back on, but I didn't want to confuse you by having it on and you not knowing what happened there. With that gone, I can tell these probably do need to be a little bit bigger. I'm going to just select both of them, come back into my contour tool, <coughs> and put it at maybe a 75. Okay, that's gonna be perfect. Now, our end goal is to get all of these little gaps filled up so that we can have a solid pattern. What we need to do is first of all, we need to turn these into curves. Right now it's just text. And although you can change colors and add strokes and stuff like that, we can't really manipulate text. We need to make it a curve. So I'm going to select heart. I'm going to hold shift and select breaker. I know I've got those two selected because they're right here. I'm going to right click and convert to curves. Okay. And now what we have is individual letters with nodes. That's still not quite what we want. We want it to be all one big thing. So I'll just drag my box around everything. Oh, it did get heart. Let me make sure we get heart in here. Okay. And then I'm just going to come over here. Okay. It does look like it's all selected because this is selected. I'm going to unite everything. I'm going to add it all together and let's see if that turns it into one big chunk. Yes. Now all of that is over here in one big chunk. I can move it as one. If I click into my nodes, it is all one big chunk. Okay. We still need to get rid of these holes in the middle, which is really easy to do. So right click, come to geometry and fill holes. Now all the holes are gone. Yay. So we can see if I turn this like um, black and I put it up here behind Heartbreaker and I move it all the way to the back, you can see it's one solid thing. Okay, let's fill it with a pattern. So to do that, we are going to use our Vector Flood Fill Tool. It's over here. You will, you may have to expand this. It's in your Shape Builder. You might have to expand out your Shape Builder. It might look like this instead. So if it does, just click the little arrow and you'll be able to get to this Vector Flood Fill Tool. Okay? And then we want to tell it what we want to use as a fill. It has already got the pattern that I want in here. If I click it right now, it's going to fill with that. And I can adjust the size of this however I want. But yours won't already be there. So what you want to do is set bitmap fill. And just come and pick whatever design you want off of your computer. You will have to have downloaded some digital papers or background patterns or whatever it is you want to use. Open that. And you see how that changed? It now has that um, floral fill, so I can put that in there. But I'm gonna set it back to the Dalmatian dots. Whoops. Let's see, here we go. And I will make them smaller. Perfect, okay. And then for this one, I just added that stroke to everything. So I'm gonna select this stroke we just want a solid stroke there that is solid stroke 
solid stroke. Actually, this one was a little bit different. If you will notice, when I put that stroke on, it cuts the letters. Over here, they're solid, they are not cut. So for this one, we do not want a stroke. Let me turn it back off. For this one instead, we wanna to come to our quick effects and put an outline on it. And then you can increase the size of that outline, but it keeps your script font all together instead of chopping it up. And let me turn Breaker into that blue color. Perfect. Let's go put this behind it. Heartbreaker is done. All right, let's work on this one. So come in here to my text tool. And it's already in the font that I want it. It is the Halmera font. I love this font. I got both of them, the Quarantine and Chill and Halmera from Creative Fabrica. I will link to that. Um, you can go grab those if you want. You can also get a um, all access subscription. Right now, it's $1.99 a month because the Black Friday deals are going on. That's gonna change soon. But if it changes, it's still pretty inexpensive. It's $3.99 a month. Anyways, I will link to that also. Okay, so that we have some room on the page, I'm gonna delete this stuff. Okay. And so that we can see it better, I'm just gonna turn this black for now. And I'm gonna turn the stroke off, okay. So here's the first one. We want to put two offsets or two outlines around it. So while this is selected, I'm going to hold Alt, drag down. Let's put our first one at like 20. Perfect. Now let's do another one. I'm going to take my original one, hold Alt, drag down, and we're going to put that offset. Again, we're using this contour tool at like 40 and we'll just kind of play with it from there and see what we think so let me turn this one to pink and that is not the right pink let me grab my color picker and put it on the pink that isn't right either what is going on with my pink hmm There it is. Okay, I guess it was a lag. And then we wanted this one to be purple. So let me select that and get the purple. That also doesn't look right. Let me see if I can drag into the purple here. That is really skinny, so I might not be able to drag into it. Let's try that. Ah, there we go. Yep, that worked. Okay. And let's just stack these on top of each other to see. Of course, there's a lag going on. I found that a lot in this new Affinity. It likes to drag. If they are not perfectly aligned, um, you can come up and use your alignment tools, which are right here. We can center it vertically and horizontally. Now it is perfectly aligned. Okay, and all we need to work with now are the individual letters. So if I just click it and I start putting colors, it's going to turn everything one color. What we want to do, again, this is text and there's not much we can do, but if we turn it into curves, we can start changing the colors. So I'm going to right click, convert to curves, and now if I come over here into my layers, and I expand that out, you can see each letter is its own curve. So I can leave the C orange, I can turn the R blue, I can turn this, that pale yellow, I leave that orange, blue, pale yellow. There it is. 
and that's how you will change your script fonts to different colors. You will first convert them to curves and then you can make them whatever color you want. And it should still all move individually. Let me put it down here. And I need it to be at the top. So I'm just going to drag it all the way to the top over here in my layers panel. And that one is done. Um, I think I had a little bit of an um, of a stroke. No, I guess it was an outline. Yes, I did put an outline around this so that it didn't cut into the letters. Let's go do that. Just a little one to make the word pop a little bit. Yep. And I think I made that pink outline a lot thicker. So let me go grab the pink outline. Instead of trying to click over here in my document, I'm just using the layers panels to make sure I have selected exactly what I want. Now I know it's selected. If I right click, I can use whatever menu I want here, or I can just come into my contour and let's make it um, maybe like a 55. That's probably a little too big. Let's put it to 50. Okay, and then to fill it up, we've got to convert it to a curve so that we can manipulate it. So let's right click. Hello. I had to get back into my selector tool here. Okay, right click, convert to curves. And then now it's all those separate curves. Remember if I click each one individually, I've got all these separate curves. I'm not even clicking the right thing. That's why I like to use this layer panel here. But you can see over here, it is all separate curves. We wanna make it one. We're gonna use the add button here. And then we can get back into our selector tool. Right click, geometry, and fill those holes up. Now watch what happens to that pink layer over there on the right when I click fill holes. It all filled in. All right guys, so it is really, really easy to make these offsets or outlines or whatever it is you wanna call them here in the new Affinity by Canva. That's all I've got for you. We'll see you next time.